spirit be free, warrior of the heavens. Undoes you. Yes, my friend. I am ready to again fight by your side. I was wrong to give in to despair. You have shown me there is still a chance for victory. But we must hurry. Even now, Diablo makes his way to the Silver Spire. I finally understand. Your kind faces death and darkness every day. Yet still you find the courage to move forward. It is an honor to be one of you. Oh, you still have much to discover, my friend. One can only hope. But now, we must stop Diablo before he reaches the crystal arch above us. Diablo. 
Pablo seeks to corrupt the crystal arch that stands atop this silver spire. If I let this come to pass, the heavens are lost. Tyriel and I must reach the arch and stop the Lord of Terror before it is too late. This is concerning. I remember angels striding through these halls in all their majesty. We thought ourselves the masters of all creation. Our arrogance was our downfall. How does it feel, knowing you helped me become the prime evil? For all your mighty deeds, all you really accomplished was unleashing me upon the world. Some savior you are, Nephilim. Leah, please. Diablo is climbing the spire to the Crystal Arch. We must hurry. You killed me without a second thought when I was no longer of use to you. How can you damn those who helped you? You need another lesson? Need more mana. A perfect strike. Look at the destruction Diablo has wrought. If we do not stop him, this is the future of all creation. Seems we've 
overboard from Grace Titty Hoo. <laughs> Come, embrace your former lieutenant. forsook my home to see it again like this any joy i might have had is replaced with sorrow upwards we must make it to the summit it is not far now i only hope we are not too late i can feel diablo's corruption closing around the light of heaven the Angelus Council is no better than the prime evils themselves. We are just pawns in their cruel games, and now you help the worst of them all. Can't be. Cain? I need mana.
truth burns you. I see you did not heed my warning. Or perhaps you think yourself strong enough to face me! I do not wish to fight you. But if I must, I will. Imperius, stop this madness! Diablo is the enemy here, not the Nephilim. Tyrion, I will deal with you soon enough. I will... What is this? No! Diablo has reached the Arch! No. Diablo has begun extinguishing the Crystal Arch. That's why the Angels have fallen. If its light should go out forever, we must defeat Diablo before that happens. Then it is up to us. Without your wings, you can still fight. Diablo's vile corruption bars our path. Stand back. Eldruin's light shall clear the way. The gate has been opened, Nephilim. This last trial is yours alone. I could not have done any of this without you, Tyriel. It was an honor, but this is the moment you were made for. This is the hour of mankind's victory. Tell me more of the Crystal Arch. You've said that it is the heart of heaven. 
it is older than time itself. And over the eons, this shining realm took shape around it. It thrums with living light and sound that courses through the very fabric of the Silver City. It is from this arch that the angels are born? Yes, like musical notes in a grand chorus. Angels are the manifestation of the arch's intrinsic harmony. The purest expressions of this harmony were my brethren, the Archangels. I do not sense this harmony you speak of. It is long broken, is it not? Yes, but hope has returned. And as you mortals are fond of saying, it is not over yet. I fear that if we defeat Diablo, Leah's innocent spirit will die with him. The spirits say that Leah cannot reach Imbuiro Ikura in this place. Diablo has corrupted everything. I wish to know if it was Ariel and you who voted to spare mankind. Which angels voted against us? Imperius. Malthael abstained, but it was counted against you. Malthael abstained? Was it out of cowardice? He was no coward. He was wisdom itself, until his disappearance. The Endurance Council has been broken ever since. What became of Malthiel? Long ago, when Anarius and his ilk stole the World Stone to create Sanctuary, Malthiel became consumed with discovering its whereabouts. As the Archangel of Wisdom, he was tortured by his inability to recover the sacred artifact. Where is he now? Some say he haunts the silent halls of Pandemonium, forever seeking answers to the unknowable mysteries of life and death. What do you speak of when you say the prime evil? It is the sum total of all seven evils housed within one body. There is an ancient legend, known only to a few, of the great dragon Tathamet, who was the original embodiment of evil. The legend says that he was ripped apart during an epic battle with Anu, and that the burning hells are composed of his remains. Who is Anu? Just as Tathamet was the ultimate evil, Anu was the ultimate good. It is said by some that the Crystal Arch is all that remains of this great warrior. Then Diablo seeks to become the dragon once again? In a manner of speaking. Yes. needs more time. I do not have enough mana. Enough! Let us see how you fare in my realm of terror. I 
of beating us can you return to your at last. There was never a doubt in my mind, friend. You are a true champion. And so the Lord of Terror falls. 
May all the souls ravaged by his evil rest in peace. It's finally over. Many brave souls died in this war. Thanks to us, they did not perish in vain. You... you truly are the one the Prophet promised. You are everything that all the angels and all of humanity could have hoped for. And... well... you're awfully nice too. I cannot believe it all came to pass, just as the Prophet wished. I left everything I knew behind to fight with you. It was the best choice I have ever made. I spoke with Ethereal, and he helped me translate the document. It was written by an angel who saw promise in humanity. He began to teach a group of young women who had killed the demons their masters summoned. You and your sisters? None other. Prophet I have followed for so many years. He was an angel. That is why you knew Tyriel was an angel. Yes, but I do not know whether the Prophet was the dying angel I met or not. The writings say that he worked in absolute secrecy. Ethereal knew nothing of them. Then you must find a new path through the world without him. You are right. And I hope that path will still be with you, my friend. The day is won. Diablo is vanquished, and all evil with him. I fear we have not seen the last of the demons of the Burning Hells. Time will tell. essence lingers in the black soul stone. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. Done well, Horadrum. Your service here is finished, and you should all.
Brother. Why? Spirits whisper of twisted angels who have come to Westmarch, murdering all who reside in this city's walls. I will find the truth of why they have come. But first, I will strike these Reapers down, so the dead may find peace in the unformed land. Nephilim. Tyrion. People are dying in this city. I have to help them. But you and Tyrion need to form a plan. We must find Malthia. Tell Tyrion we will meet in Westmarch. Go! It will be done. I swear it. to the streets. Browsing's free. For now.
It's the end of the world. So many have been killed and the Reapers are everywhere. Surely there must be survivors. General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakarum Cathedral, but they're likely all dead by now. Wait, you're the witch doctor who saved Bastion's Keep. You'll save us too, won't you? That is why I have come. Keep moving. I think we lost her. No, no! Those with demon blood must die. I see no demons here. Only innocent people. Define innocent. I do not have enough mana. I overflow with blessings. Not good. Not good at all. Vile Reaper. Why does Malthael wish to destroy this city? Because he feeds on death. Every time his reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone, Malthael believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. We are the offspring of angels and demons. But when Malthael looks upon us, he sees only demons. The church! All the refugees are inside! Follow me! Akrat's Bane! This is worse than I feared! What could this be? A death maiden! Stop her! Everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down, so that the collection of souls is not interrupted. 
It is the key to Malthiel's victory. There must be an end to this bloodshed. Where is Malthiel? I know only that he is not in Westmarch. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. Is there a way we can determine the purpose for which he took it? There may be. A sliver broke off when Malthael took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. You must discover its secrets. Until then, I will go bring peace to the city. what the Death Maiden was trying to do in the Cathedral. She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malthael's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour, and my men report two more of them out in the city. Soul Crucibles. With two of them, Malthael has an endless supply of soldiers. Not for long. Why have the Horadrim come back? Tyriel rebuilt the Order to help him take the Soul Stone from Heaven, and to protect mankind. After all, you can't be everywhere at once, no matter how powerful you are. The Soul Crucibles turn the bodies of the dead into the Reapers. That is the truth, is it not? Sadly, yes. But the Death Maidens are angels? Their story is as tragic as Malthiel's. Once the vanguard of his wisdom angels, they followed him down the path to darkness. Malthiel, my brother, he was wisdom, leader of our council, first among angels. And now, he has become this. How did this come to pass? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malthael's mood darkened, and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared completely. He must have developed a connection, no, an obsession with human souls. Death does not devour the spirit. It sets it free. Malthael is lost in darkness. What do you hope to learn from studying that fragment of the soul stone? The sliver is still connected to the soul stone. As the stone changes, the sliver will change too. Therefore, I can observe what Malfail is doing to the stone, and if we're lucky, even discover his plan. We stay to fight, Robert and me. But it fell. And when they started to tear into him, I panicked. I ran. Be not ashamed. You live to carry on his memory. At long last, a hero comes to save us! That won't bring my wife back, though. Will it? Oh, I do that extremely well. West March originally grew from the efforts of the great General Rakis to spread his religion beyond the realms of the East. 
Seized by the superstitions of the Zakarum faith, he drove his paladins relentlessly across the barbaric western lands, subduing the uncivilized tribes he found there. Ultimately, he became king of them all. My library isn't far from here. I was closing everything up for the day when I heard the fighting in the streets. I barred the doors and then squeezed through the back window to escape. But I'll have to come up with something more exciting when I write my official account, won't I? You've heard the legend of the Tomb of Rakus, haven't you? Its location has never been found. Most scholars think it's underneath Westmarch, but I suspect it's somewhere outside the city. Rakus was a clever man, after all. something is there anything on your mind Hedry your friend Lyndon here keeps pestering me about making him a golden crossbow but he'd be more likely to shoot himself with it than one of his enemies the worst idea I've ever heard clearly you haven't heard many of my ideas I know who is responsible for this it's the poor They've summoned these monstrosities to take Westmarch for themselves. Help! God isn't here, me, Kane. came for me after all this time my friend Hedrick heard your voice bloody miracle sorry I shouldn't have said that I owe you both come with me it's safe up there now Remember that noise I heard? It was that lad you rescued. I'm Bryson. I came here to see your friend. <laughs> and now he won't go away. You saved his life. Perhaps he wishes to show you his gratitude. I am. In fact, I'm going to repay Hadrig by helping him. And I told you to stay away from my forge. I grew up over by the docks. Not the good part of town, but it's what my parents could afford. They died when the plague swept through a few years ago, within hours of each other. Like they had to stay together. I used to hate them for leaving me, but now... It's a relief they didn't have to see all this happen. I can't believe we're still alive, and it's all thanks to you. I thought we would die in that foul-smelling place. Did you grab the jewelry, at least? Harold, those monsters were about to kill us! Well, I would rather be dead than poor. 